Welcome to the weekly share of the Zerashimsha. And it is Yud Gimel Elo, Tufshin Pei Base. <clears throat> Only a few more weeks left to, uh, this year. And um, today is the yard site of the Benish Chai, Yisuf Chaim of Baghdad. Seychar Tzadik Vekadish Levracha. So if anybody can. Light a candle, give a little tzedakah, and maybe learn a piece from the Ben Yishchai. That would be an Eli Neshama. Okay. Today's piece from Kesetze is in Kapitel Dalit from the Zera Shimshon. <clears throat> he says, um, he brings the Gemara in Brachli, Staflam, Gimlam, Vase, that says, in the Mishnah says, I aimer al kan sipor yigiyuch rachamecha. If somebody says by the the um the, the nest of the tzipor, we don't it's a kosher bird, right? Yegiu <clears throat> rachamecha, may you get mercy. May you have reach mercy to you. Maidim or maidim shatkim, I say. Or if he says twice the word maidim maidim, you tell them shut up. <laughs> so why? What's wrong? What's wrong with this? Ramin and Has the Gemara says. <clears throat> he makes the midas of Hakadosh Baruch Hu into rachamim ve'enam elo gezeres melech ala avadam. They're just decrees on his servants from the king. Akasha. Well, I mean, it's difficult. He says in the midrash in Devarim Rabba, Kishem shen esmali Hakadosh Baruch Hu rachamim ala behema. Just like Hakadosh Baruch has mercy on the animals. He also has mercy on birds. Oh, Minayan, it says, Ki Yikro Khan Sipor, it brings the Pusik by Shiloh Khan, which is what we're talking about in the Gemara Brachas. Mikan, Nira Bibiro Shi Iker Tam Khan Sipor, Homi Shem Rachamim. So the main reason why we have mercy on this bird is because of Rachamim. We need to express our own rachamim on the creatures, right? Rachamim al kol masof. Okay. But wait, and furthermore, it says in Dorim Rabbah, Yesh mitzvah shemat neschar keneg, right, keneg. It's very, the, <clears throat> the, you see mitzvahs that the reward is by the side of it. That of a yesh mat neschar oisha. Some, some mitzvahs have the covet as to be their reward. And by the way, by right, and the side, right, an additional reward, besides be doing the mitzvah, and the others have re- wealth. Matan schar shel mitzvah zu. What's the fulfillment of this? What's the reward for the fulfillment of mitzvah shiloh hakan? Shimein lechabanim, ani nice lechabanim. If you don't have children, I'll be I'll be mezake you with children. Interesting. Shenemet says ve'as. Habanim tikach lecha, because he's darshing the twist in the pasuk. That sounds like a chassidish shavar. Right? Okay, this is in the <laughs> midrash rabba. So he said, and the children you should take for yourself. In other words, if you do mishilach hakan, you'll get children. But af bezetzorchiyon. If this is also needs to be investigated, ma'inim sechar zeh shel banim ima mitzvazu. What's the connection between this? This mitzvah and getting children. However, ah, ze yuvan de pshitos v'may de yisvah. Devarim Rav, it's also in the midrash. Rav brings the davar acher mi mahu shalach shaleach tishalach esaim. What does it mean? You said certainly send the mother. Why does it have to repeat it? Im kayam to mitzvahs shiluach at mi mayer lavoy menach mashiach. Oh, very interesting. If you do the mitzvah of Shiluach HaKan, you quicken, you hasten the bringing of Mashiach. What? What's the God to do? What? What God to do? What? One kind of thing to do with the other. How would you know that? It's a hint in the Pasuk. It says, Hine Anoichi, everybody knows this Pasuk. Hine Anoichi, Shaleach Lachem, Es Eliyah Hanobi. Oh. Well, be fair, I read the Shab, the Vamais in the, Fourth parak of the Yavamais, it says Daf Samach Omid Beis Omid Aleph. Amrina, we say Ain Ben David Bo Al Shi Yechalu Kol Aneshama Shem Beguf. Ain David doesn't Ben David is not going to come until you conclude or 
complete to fulfill bringing all the shamas from the heavens down to earth. Since this, the side benefit of this mitzvah is to bring Mashiach, so so you'll be blessed with children in order to fulfill the mitzvah of getting rid of all the neshamas in the heavens and bringing them into the body. Okay. We still need to be explaining this. How is bringing Mashiach dependent on this mitzvah? Like it's brought in the Mishnah, it's a Midrash Rus, and then Behuva Bishach in the Parsha Zu, and it's brought in the Shach in this Parsha. Ki, mitach shehu mishaleach hasa'im, hi hoileches vedoyeges umitztaeres alkana ve'albanel. So the bird goes and it's worried and it's aggravated about its nest and its children. Well, so it wanders to and fro and it wants to kill itself. The poor bird. So because of all this aggravation, the, the angel that's appointed on birds has so he asks for mercy from God. So therefore, God fills himself up with mercy. If this angel is asking for mercy on his children, on his, not his children, but his, the people that he's appointed over, So, because I'm merciful, and I'm the one that's most merciful. I'm the, the seed of all mercy. Why, I, can I have mercy on my children? Woe to me that I destroyed my house, and I threw my children into gallows. Who caused all this? What the, you know, precipitated all of this action one after another, it's the one that did the Shiloh HaKan, the one that sent the bird from the nest. So we see the Hari Bevorah, Eich Mitzvah Shiloh HaKan, Mikarev HaGeula. We see that how the Mitzvah of Shiloh HaKan brings the Geula quicker. And I'll leave it at that. There's other things, but enough. It's... This is enough chidushim for one session. And with this segula from Zer Shimshon today is, if you learn a shtickle, the Ben Chai, and that's the biggest school because it's the Ilui Neshama for the, it's a Yom Hilula, the, the Sadik, it's always Sif Sifosa Dive Reis Bekever. When he speaks his Dive Torah, his lips are moving in the grave, as it were. Okay, as many people know, deciding to begin learning Seder is. Shimshin, and the Seder and Zer Shimshin, uh, can affect a person's situation in numerous ways. No problem was, par- my problem was Parnassa. I worked in the insurance business, and whereas in the past I had been able to find new clients with ease, suddenly nothing was working. No matter where I turned up, who I spoke to, or met with, nothing worked, and I found myself at a standstill. Well, there are some businesses where having a limited pool of clients is enough. The insurance business is not one of those. If you're not moving in one direction, you're moving in another. That means down. There was no question that I was disheartened by my lack of success, and I discussed my situation with a number of my friends and acquaintances. Most people commiserated with me, but didn't know what I, what else to do. But one of my close friends sent me a copy of Zer Shimshin. Aha, and he advised me to start learning it on a regular basis. I decided to follow his advice and began learning from the Safer at least twice a week. In all honesty, I felt a certain intangible change almost immediately. As it was as if it's something something was telling me that it, that my muzzle had changed, and that things were going to become better. It's this, it's a funny thing, but since I've begun learning Zera Shimshin, one out of every three people, thirty three percent, I speak to chooses to purchase an insurance policy from me. That's my story. You decide. <laughs> Have a wonderful Shabbos. I get to 
Shabbos and everybody should be healthy and Bo Hashem, my daughter passed the surgery and we should be very thankful on the Tavla Haidos Hashem Shimcho El Yain. Okay, call Tov.